You like blackfish better? I think blackfish is firmer. Stripers are really good. Yeah, you know, I like sea bass. I think blackfish and sea bass is better than striper. I do, yeah. I mean, striper's good, but sea bass and blackfish, I think, are the best. You ever had any small bluefish? No. It's the best thing ever. Is it good? You like it? Try it. It's like you gotta smoke it. This is the only way. You it's can the only it. way, right? Yeah. It is so freaking good. I yeah. Can, you know, I... Someone told me about it, I was like, yeah. I tried it. Yeah. Huh. I'll keep them just to smoke them. I gotta, I gotta try it. It's Absolutely sick. delicious. Hey, what's up guys? Gonna be targeting blackfish, AKA to talk today. And what's your favorite fish? We were just talking about that. Smoked bluefish, I've personally never had it, but some people rave about it. Um, I think the reason why a lot of people fish for blackfish, they are a fun fish to catch, but they are great eating fish. So for me, I would say blackfish and black sea bass are my two favorites up north. Uh, it's comparable to grouper and snapper if you fish down south. I would say the blackfish has a firmer meat texture, so you're able to do more with it. You can make a chowder out of it. You could bake it. You could fry it. Really versatile meat. The black sea bass is really nice too. It's lighter and flakier, uh, so they're both really good. Try them out. Comment below if you have a preference or you have a recipe. Let me know. So to start out, we're cutting up our green crabs. Uh, I've used two types of crabs, either Asian or green crabs. The Asians you could catch on your own. Really easy to catch. You go to the beach at low tide. They're a smaller crab, so if you're using Asian crabs, you probably aren't going to be cutting them up. They both work really well. With the green crabs, I've tried whole crabs versus half crabs. The half crabs always seem to outfish the uh, whole crabs. I'm not sure why that is, but um, it is a, a bigger crab. Um, green crabs, the reason why I use them is it's just easier for me. Uh, I'm fishing every day, so I don't have time to go to the beach at low tide and, and catch my own crabs. So you can buy green crabs at any tackle shop. Uh, they're very reasonably priced. They stand the hook fairly well. So that's what I'm nor normally using when I'm black fishing. And there's a nice black sea bass. You are going to catch a lot of black sea bass. They will mix in with the blackfish. And, uh, I mean, there's some days where you can get a limit of sea bass and blackfish together, which is uh, a great combination to eat. So the rigs we're using, we're using more of a traditional blackfish rig uh, versus the blackfish jigs. Um, a lot of people do really well. I have a lot of friends that love the blackfish jigs. Uh, I've done really well with them myself. Mostly shallow water though, slower current. Um, I'm trying to break away from the crowds, so I'm targeting blackfish in 25 to 75 feet of water, and I'm fishing in Long Island Sound here. The current is pretty strong, so and there's a nice keeper blackfish right there. Um, but with that strong current, you're going to need more, more uh, weight and those jigs aren't gonna really hold with the exception of uh, slack tide or slower, slower moving water. So if that's the case, the jig would work. But here we're using a traditional blackfish rig and this is a nice five to six pound blackfish. That's a solid keeper. We have a 16 inch minimum and you're allowed three fish per person as of 2020. Um, so this rig, it starts with a barrel swivel. Um, I do run a little bit of a 50 or 60 pound mono uh, a couple feet above the swivel just to give you some protection because we are fishing in rocks. And the rig, the leader itself uh, below the barrel swivel is about three to three and a half feet. Um, I just want to note this. I am bleeding this fish out here. You see our, our fish box is starting to fill up here. Uh, if you've ever fish for blackfish, you know that these fish will live out of water for a very long time. Uh, they're very slippery too, so the last thing you want is to be cutting up or filleting fish at the end of the day and have fish that are still alive, and they will be alive for several hours. So I always hit them in the gills with a knife. 
Uh, it also helps to bleed them out. You'll get less blood in your filet. Uh, some people think that that improves the, the, the quality of the meat as well. Um, so back to the rig, though. Um, we're using a 50 or 60-pound leader for the rig. Uh, the, the end of the rig, we are snelling on about a 3 or 4 0, either an octopus-style hook or a bait holder-style hook. And right above the hook, uh, and the reason why we snell, you don't have to snell. Uh, I snell them on because uh, octopus and bait holder hooks have a turned down eye, uh, but you could use a regular knot, but technically they, it's made to be uh, snelled. And uh, a few inches above that, I put a loop. I use a perfection loop, and that's where my sinker goes. So the idea of the rig and there's a lot of different rate ways uh to make blackfish rigs you can comment below uh if you have a good rig that you use but pretty much however you do it you want to have the sinker and hook on the bottom uh you don't want your your hook floating three feet up or your bait to be floating three feet up off the bottom so we keep the hook and sinker uh, very close together um the reason why we use a loop is that you want to be able to loop that sinker on and off you always want to be vertical okay so you can't be scoping out uh, so if your sinker's too light you know you won't be staying straight up and down on the bottom you you do have to have your crab directly on the bottom you cannot be off the bottom for blackfish um and uh this is going to be a really big blackfish right here so check this out funny because it took a few minutes like the first 10 minutes we really didn't get any bites right and then it kind of just progressively started to All pick up fish. that's a big one yeah that's a giant one. look at that <laughs> that's a monster that might be 10 pounds right there he's huge the size of that thing <laughs> you know they're big when i could gap them <laughs> look at the teeth on that sucker hold on it's just let me get that hook out for you. Want to get the hook out? Or... Actually, let's weigh him. Let's see how heavy he is. Oh, yeah. It's 10 pounds? Yeah. What? It's, it's 10 over 10 pounds. Yeah, look at it. That's the 10 pound mark right there. He's over 10. He's like 10 and a quarter. Look at the size. That's a big blackfish right there. That's, that might be the biggest blackfish I've ever caught. Sends the teeth on him. Look as black as you ever got? Yeah, I don't think I've ever got one that big. I think my biggest is nine. All right, and with the sinker, we use just enough weight to stay vertical and keep the bait on the bottom. Uh, as the current increases, we'll use a heavier sinker. Uh, and as it decreases, you want to use a lighter sinker. You always want to be using. Um, as light as possible, uh, you'll feel the bites better. So uh, in the slower current, uh, uh, um, lighter sinker is going to work better than a heavier sinker. That's why you have the loop knot, so you're able to change uh, the sinker weight very easily without retying a whole new rig. And D hookers work great for unhooking the fish, especially smaller fish. Uh, one more look at this this big fish here, uh, and this is a really solid fish, particularly for um, Long Island Sound area. Uh, anything that once you get to double digits is a uh, is really a, a giant tog. I know some areas uh, down in uh, Virginia where they get a lot of big fish, um, and even out out in the ocean. Uh, Rhode Island, you see a lot of big fish. We don't get as many of those real double-digit fish. Um, so that was a, a really nice catch for this area. Um, talk about our equipment. Uh, for reels, I use a uh, Shimano Torium 14 or the Shimano Trench 400. Uh, that's loaded with 50-pound Power Pro Super Slick. Uh, you could use a little bit lighter braid. Um, I like using, um, I, or I, I use the same setup for striper fishing as well. And 
the 50 is a good all around um, that I could do uh, striper and black fishing with. But uh, you could use lighter. Um, you'll get less drag in the water with a lighter line. However, if that line rubs on a rock, it will break easier. So the 50 holds up well on the rocks. That's why I like using the 50. Um, for rods, you want to use a medium heavy rod. So I'm using a uh, Shimano Terramar. It's the TMC E70 MH, and MH is for medium heavy. Uh, you could even use a heavy action, I suppose, but you just have to have a little bit of um, a little bit of a soft tip. You want to be able to feel the bite. Uh, obviously, that's why we use braided line, so uh, it doesn't stretch, and you get really good sensitivity. Um, and probably the most uh, challenging thing that uh, you'll hear people complain about when they're black fishing is that black fish are professional bait stealers. So uh, you see the giant teeth they have. That is for crushing the crab. Uh, and when you first start getting a bite, you're going to feel them uh, just tapping at it. And you don't want to set the hook right away. That's one of the mistakes a lot of people make. You want to let them tap at it, let them break that crab apart. And if you can almost be patient here, let them almost pull the rod tip down a little bit and that's when you have them that's when you set the hook okay so you don't want to set the hook too early and obviously uh you know you don't want to uh, not do anything and just let them uh, rip the bait off so the trick is to let them nibble at it be patient wait for them to start to pull the rod a little bit and then give them a good hook set and immediately as soon as you hook them the most critical part of the fight is going to be that initial hook set. You have to get the rod up, pull them off the bottom. Um, blackfish live in rocky, gnarly structure, and they will swim back in the rocks and snag you up. So get them up off the bottom. You can't be fishing a loose drag for blackfish. You have to have the drag pretty tight. Um, and last thing about blackfish is going to be the structure. Uh, they like rocky structure. So basically any uh, rocky area, the, usually the bigger the rocks, the gnarlier the bottom, the better. Um, they are a heavily pressured fish, uh, and that's because they are really good to eat. So try to stay away from the crowds. Uh, but every single rock pile in the fall is going to have them. Uh, generally, they will start out uh, when the season opens. Uh, in early October, they'll start in shallow water, and then as it gets colder, they'll start to progressively move into deeper water. Thanks for watching. We still have a bunch more fishing ahead, so please watch this whole video. We're going to get another big fish here and a full limit, um, but that's about all I have to say about black fishing. Any questions or comments, please comment below. And please subscribe to my channel, help support Real Cash Charters. Thanks a lot. Especially yours, yours is still good. Like just, yeah, you're good. Yeah. You know, that rod's a little, got a little bit more flex to it than some of the other ones. Oh yeah, that's another big one, huh? That's another big one. <laughs> not, not as big as the not first one, one, but he's still a good one, though. He's probably seven pounds or so. Fought that one, fought hard too. Oh yeah, he's all, he's almost the same length, 23 inches. 
Pisa. About eight pounds, yeah. Just about eight, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's huge. Ready? Yeah, that's a nice one. Just trying to get some of the sun out. Hold on, let me get one more. Ready? Yeah. That's a good one. Nice. I like when you can gaff them. That's when you know they're good. Freaking teeth. Look at that. Nasty, Isn't that funny? They're not. They're like dull though, but you yeah, can tell they're just like. But you don't want this thing to play. No, it <laughs> freaking probably. Yeah, really on the left side of the boat. Vita BB. It's a keeper, anyways. Yeah, I know, that's a good one. It's probably good. I think Pac is coming in your spot too. Yeah, yeah, they're pushing you right out of your spot, Christian. You <laughs> All right, let's see. That's a nice one. 18 inches. <laughs> All right. Here, just change spots a bit for one sec. And I gotta get in the fish box. Watch, watch. So that's eight. So we got one more. We keep one more. All right. Little oh, baby. You could probably go to a lighter sinker if you feel like you're you're too heavy. The current's kind of slack. He's eating crabs, his whole stomach's full of crabs. Probably stealing that other guy's bait, look at that. Yeah. See all that? All green crabs. <laughs> yeah, loaded with green crabs. Still can't get over the size of the head of that sucker. That's a big blackfish fillet. Another one? Yeah. 
Look at that. It's like a striper fillet right there. This guy, this must be the last one we caught. He's still flapping around. Got him. Yeah. Crabs. <laughs> 